Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about Alt PE, okay, or active learning time, or also uh, it's known as academic uh, learning time. So this is an analysis tool uh, which is designed to measure the amount of time that students spend in several components of a lesson. Okay, and overall it's uh, it's used to figure out how active people are basically, or how much learning is going on, how, um, how much academic stuff is going on in a lesson. So how's it done? So basically we have, uh, we break the lesson down into 10 second intervals um, and we follow one student um, during the entire lesson and then the student um, is, is graded upon what they're doing um, during those little 10 second uh, slots. The student uh, shouldn't be aware that they're being observed though because then that will uh, quite often change their behaviour. Um, it's something called the, uh, the Hawthorne effect. People change their behaviour when they're being observed. So how's this done? Um, so we watch a student for five seconds, um, and then in the next five seconds we code their um, their involvement in the lesson or their engagement um, using the key here uh, on your right. So if they are um, physically active, then we're giving them an A. Um, T for transition, M for management, K for knowledge, W for waiting, and O for off task. But we'll go through those things one by one. So, if we were to go through this little example here above my head, um, and <clears throat> you can see it's cut into into slots, <coughs> excuse me, of ten seconds. So, for the first slot from zero to ten seconds, it's filled out with M. So M is management. So this includes administration of the class, um, some class business, etc., attendance, uh, maybe going out to get a drink, uh, announcements, and that sort of thing. So an example might be that we're taking the role. Okay, as we can see here on the image on the right, uh, J. Quellen, uh, A. A. Ron, etc. Um, for uh, that's also the case for the for the next ten seconds too. So for the first twenty seconds of that lesson above me, um, someone's taking the role or doing some management stuff. The next one is a K, and K is knowledge. Uh, which is the conveyance of cognitive information. So it could be a demonstration, could be listening to rules or strategies of a game. Um, we could be asking questions to clarify, clarify understanding, and we might just be discussing a few things. So my example over here on the side, so you can see the teacher is demonstrating how to do a bit of a windmill move uh, and break dancing, and the students are around observing and taking on board that demonstration. Okay, and that only goes for 10 seconds. Then we have a transition time where they are moving from one activity to another. So in this case, we've just shown kids how to do the windmill move and break dancing. Then they're about to go and move out to go and give it a go themselves. Okay, so that's a transition time. These kids are obviously quite keen um, and they're sprinting to go and to practice their windmills. And then for that last 10 seconds, um, then they are doing activity. So that is an A. So the motor engagement um, is high and they're doing the assigned task. And the key word there is that it's assigned. They're not doing something that is completely different to what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, so quite clearly they are doing the dance now. They're about to break into that big windmill move. So the guidelines for Alt-PE are that um, the activity during your lesson should be um, going for at least 50% or greater than 50% um, throughout the entire time. Okay, the knowledge, so the time when you're giving them instruction or giving them demonstrations, should be between 10 to 25%, and the other ones should be as low as possible. So the kids waiting, the kids moving between transitions, doing the role and the off-task behavior, that should all be as low as possible, as low to 0%. So the kids need to be getting more reps in, okay, and with more reps, more practice, um, the studies show that they improve, they get better at the skill, okay, rather than having to sit there and to listen to you talk um, or to be running around in between activities or to observe you setting up your activities. So everything needs to be set up. Transitions need to be short and we need to get them having time on task, doing the activity, practicing the skill so that they can learn better and learn more. Awesome. If you have any questions, come and ask me. Sure.